Height is one of the number one causes of injury when working on a job site. It is also one of the number one reasons companies are fined or investigated by OSHA. When tying off is too difficult, or it takes too long, a lot of the time workers just don't do it. This is not only often a violation, but it can lead to serious injury. If you need fall protection where none exists, then I'd like to introduce you to the X-Series Mobile Grabber Line by Malta Dynamics. My name is Ben, and this is the Lifting and Rigging Channel. In this video, we are going to take a look at the X-Series Mobile Grabber by Malta Dynamics. The X-Series Grabber is a mobile fall protection unit that provides overhead anchorage where none exists for up to five workers and is tested to meet OSHA requirements. We spoke with Brian Heiss from Malta Dynamics to learn a bit more about what this machine has to offer. To provide that anchor point where none exists is the main goal of the X-Series Mobile Grabber. The hook in the sky, right? Where are we gonna put something? We have no place to, to put any type of fall protection. So our CEO, Damian Lang, he saw the need for affordable, reliable, um, well-built fall protection. Malta Dynamics, we are a full service manufacturer of fall protection. Um, so anything from harnesses, SRLs, to helmets, um, safety glasses, just about anything you'd need in the fall protection industry. The unit started out as a little green machine, um, had wheels about this big, um, just smaller, nothing like you see it today. From our basis of that little green machine that would go, say, 18 feet in the air, now we're reaching up to 34 feet and we have plans to go even higher. Customer feedback's been fantastic. So uh, this, again, is a solution that provides an anchor where none exists. So all these issues of we have nowhere to tie off, our guys are just getting up there and we're hoping nothing happens. This can solve that problem. That's what this is designed to do. Out in the field, just because you're out in the middle of a cornfield doesn't mean you don't have to follow OSHA standards. So in construction, if you're above six feet, you have to be tied off. In general industry, four feet, you have to be tied off. So what do you do if you, you got nowhere to tie off? This is a solution. We see a ton of rental in the construction industry, but these are used um, in airport hangars or just in airport maintenance or airplane maintenance, I mean. Um, they are used, our largest customer has been power generation. Manufacturing uses it a lot for maintenance inside buildings and things. As far as confined space goes, you, you can use it for open trench. Um, you can use it for if you're going, you need to go down in and clean tanks. This is a way to know that while that worker's in there, you can rescue them if something does happen. The quick setup time. Less than five minutes, you'll have this thing in the air, ready to work. Okay, a lot of people will use scaffolding. That may take a day to set up, do the work, day to tear down. This, you back it in, you go up, you do your work, you come back down, you're done. Another major benefit that I like to point out about these is you're not just safe when you're on the fall hazard, you're safe on your way up. Okay, if the wind comes, kicks that ladder out before you can get it tied off, anything like that. This guy's gonna be caught before he ever hits the ground. And this thing being able to be towed behind a half ton pickup truck, it, it's a major benefit. So, if the mobile grabber sounds like it might be a good fit for you, then let's take a look at how this product works and what it takes to operate the X-Series mobile grabber. From a setup standpoint, basically you have one remote, whether it's our 15 foot long corded pendant remote or the wireless remote, and it's gonna have one button, one function. You have an up and a down, um, and if you have the X1240, it's up and down and that's it. The 50, X1250 and the X1260 have an extension on them, a five foot extension. So that extension would have an out and an in. So basically, once you get it on site, you back it up to your hazard. You're gonna put your riggers down. So there's four riggers on the unit, they're drop foot, makes setup very simple, very easy. So next thing you wanna do, you wanna get the unit within two degrees of level. So once you're within two degrees of level, you undo your ratchet straps. There's one on the front, one on the back for towing purposes. Um, undo those, 
raise the mast in the air to about eye level. You're going to inspect all your anchor points. You're going to look at all those, make sure they operate correctly. Um, this is when you're going to install your SRLs and your tagline to the snap hook of the SRL. Then you're going to raise the unit, the mast in the air to the working height that you need. And the main requirement is not just be within that two degrees of level, there's bubble levels on the unit for that, but also to keep that SRL in tension at all times. You don't want any slack, so you need the unit overhead enough that that SRL is kept in tension at all times. It's not just the setup of the unit and how to use it, it's understanding what can happen if you do have a fall, understanding the steps that need to be taken before you do that work. Well, we feel that manufacturer-based training is essential. Like I said, it's, it's, it's simple to use, it's very easy to use. But with the manufacturer-based training, you're gonna get, you're gonna learn about swing fall. Um, you're gonna learn about how to make your plan before you get on that hazard because obviously everything where you have a fall hazard, you need to have a plan in place. What are we gonna do if there's an accident? How are we gonna rescue? Things like that. So we can show you some steps to get that plan set up. In the event you have to rescue a worker, whether it's confined space or you have a fall, the confined space rescue kits. So um, this is a 100 foot three-way rescue system because right on the rear of the unit, each unit can handle two of these. Uh, there's a pin, you pull the pin, the handle will pop out on that winch and now you can raise or lower that worker to safety. Uh, the 100 foot three-way rescues have a pulley on them as well. And that pulley allows not just freedom of movement side to side if you're using it as a standard SRL, um, but it allows you to bi-directionally winch as well. So if you're in a confined space situation, you need to pull a worker from the sides, it'll allow that and then bring them up out. Um, if you have a fall, it can also lower them down. Our most popular option for the unit is what we call the mobile go system. You have a wireless remote to operate that. And this allows you the mobility to move that unit 360 degrees in any direction. So if you're in a tight spot where you cannot get a forklift, you cannot get a truck in there. Um, these units have crane pick points as well. If, if you just can't get a crane set up to put this in this tight spot, that mobile go is gonna be your key to getting it back to in where you need it and set up to keep your guys safe. You need to do a pre-use inspection. There's 11 points or 13 points, depending on which model you have, of things you're gonna check before every time you use it. This is just a simple once over, make sure there's no, you know, you're looking for any kind of possible structural damage, um, any kind of hydraulic leaks, anything like that. So you're giving a new, the, the unit a good once over, especially checking those anchor points. Um, making sure there's no cracking, no corroding, that they swivel and spin freely. There are three main points that really take care of this whole unit. Check your hydraulic fluid. There's a sight glass on the front of the hydraulic fluid tank. Um, it is full when the unit is stowed. That's when you wanna check it. Uh, also check the water level in your batteries. These are 12 volt deep cycle batteries. You wanna make sure that that water is about a quarter inch above those cells. And then the last thing is there's some grease certs throughout the unit. Just make sure it's greased regularly. Um, and that's it as far as maintenance goes. Easy to use, easy to maintain. We require an annual competent person inspection as well. So this would be an individual that is OSHA competent trained and we prefer that they go through manufacturer training as well. Um, so once they receive the unit, we would come out, give them the training. If this is not a possibility, then we can come to your site, do the inspection for you as well. I do several of those a year. Uh, so to use the grabber, you want to have a full body harness. So make sure that that full body harness has also been inspected. Um, you know, those need an annual inspection as well. Make sure it fits you securely and properly. And then you want to use what at this point is still classified as a class B SRL. So class B SRL or something equivalent. So the main goal is to limit the max arresting force to 900 pounds or less on the worker in the event of a fall. So that's the main goal. Class B SRL, full body harness, any other PPE that may be required by the site as well. But 
Those are the two main things you need to, to operate this unit. If the unit's used to arrest the fall, what you want to do is you want to have that competent person, um, your OSHA competent person, inspect the unit. If they can't do it, once again, we can come out and do that inspection for you. You're looking for any kind of structural damage. So all these units come with a one-year limited warranty, but a five-year structural. So if you have any issues, you have a fall, and there happens to be any kind of structural damage, you know, it would need to be tagged, do not use, taken out of service. Um, once it's inspected, if it's decided that the unit is structurally sound still, um, can be used again, then the only thing that needs to happen is you need to change the anchor point where you had the fall. So just get in contact with us, we'll get you a new anchor point, get that bolted in, and the unit will be good to use again. Really the, the limitation on the X-Series Mobile Grabber is its size. Our footprint is small for what it is and what it does. It's just, it's not quite so small that it can fit in every application. It's just not going to work. There's also times where people say, you know, this, I, I just need this thing just two more feet higher. It's like, I wish I could, but I can't just make that happen. So um, we're trying to solve that problem right now. Um, it's in the works. So, I mean, there, there's always room for improvement and we're always willing to listen to that feedback. If they contact us and say, hey, we have an issue with X, Y, or Z, we'll test that out. We'll make sure that that unit is gonna be proper for you. It's gonna work. It's gonna be what you need. We're trying to, trying to stay ahead, listening to our customers, listening to those guys we have in the field that are trying out our products. Again, field tested, field approved. These people give us the feedback so that we can offer the product that's gonna work best for the customer going to keep the most people safe and that's our goal. What sets it apart is number one, you know, this is American made. Number two, we're going 34 feet in the air and we're going to go higher. Um, and the ease of use of this machine is extremely simple. Get it within two degrees, one button, one function to run this thing. Make sure it's overhead. Stay within your 30 degrees. The simplicity of it the ease of use, the mobility, those are all the benefits of this unit that you're not gonna find with a lot of other units. Looking for more information on the X-Series Grabber? Click the link below to contact our fall protection specialist to get more information. If you need solutions or training for your workers at height, we can help there too. And if you're looking for a next watch, check out the fall protection episode from our ocean inspection series. We hope this video provides you with a solution for providing fall protection and keeping your workers safe when it seems like there's just nowhere to tie off. If you found this video useful, informative, entertaining, or you just feel like being friendly, then hit that like button so we can get this information out to everyone who needs it. Subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss a video. My name is Ben, and I'll see you in the next one.